Hello and welcome back to 4FS Gaming. Today we are going to look at what I consider to be the most cost efficient loadout in Hunt Showdown at the moment, with a few variations for when you have access to traits. I'm going to explain the loadout and then show you some strengths and weaknesses with actual gameplay. So if you're going to build a cost efficient loadout, it's a good idea to build it around the most cost efficient primary weapon in the game. And without a doubt, I believe that this title belongs to the Sparks LRR. I made a whole video on why this stands out, but a brief summary is that it only costs $130 and aside from the Nitro, it's the highest single shot damage in the game. It can very easily down wounded hunters and with the state of quick swapping you're able to negate its single shot limitation by just shooting a follow up shot with your sidearm. So let's talk about that sidearm for a moment. For this build I'm going to recommend the Nagant Officer. It's $66 and it has a rapid rate of fire. This means that after you hit a target with the sparks, you can get multiple shots in quick succession to land that lethal follow up blow. So it's reasonably forgiving. It also gives you a strong but cheap close range option if you get pushed into that close combat area. Now there are some variations on this choice, by taking a PAX or even a Coldwell conversion pistol, you're going to be able to kill targets with a single follow up shot from further away, as they both have higher damage. The PAX also is medium ammo, so you will be able to take up follow up shots that can penetrate through light cover. They both fire very slowly however, which means that you're going to have to land that first follow up, or the opportunity to make the kill will likely be gone. You're also going to need fanning to make either of these weapons effective up close. But I think that fanning is a bit of a waste of a trait point at the moment, considering that there's an alternative and much stronger option that I'm going to reveal later in the video. So let's stick with the Sparks and Officer as our weapon setup, because I believe they are really really efficient for what they do and how much they cost. But what about the tools? Well, you're going to need something to melee with, and I always go with the knife. It is the most powerful anti-hunter melee tool due to its range and speed, and it's the fastest way to kill most of the AI in the game. If you're worried about immolators, just use the sparks. Every second heavy melee attack with the sparks in quick succession doesn't use any stamina, so immolators are a joke when you're holding this rifle, there's really no need for dusters. You're also going to need the ability to heal. A medkit is practically mandatory in any build, so make sure you take one. The other two tool slots are a bit more for personal choice. The Flare Pistol is a staple for most of my builds for dealing with armors, particularly the Concertina variety very quickly, or even those pesky hives on a roof or balcony. I also like how it instantly destroys barrels that people are standing next to. For 4 more dollars, throwing knives also hold a very similar role, and for the 4th tool slot there's a choice of tripwires to make barrel traps, decoy fuses to bait movement or choke bombs to block windows and doors and extinguish teammates, and they all can be very useful in their own way. Let's talk about consumables now. The nature of this loadout is that you're mostly going to be fighting at longer ranges, and this means that fights will be longer than one of those quick shotgun rushes into the enemy team. As such, you're likely going to take a fair bit of damage as you peek and probe, and you're going to get hit occasionally. This means you need to have a good number of heals, more than what the medkit can offer. At a minimum, I'd take two small vitality shots. They're really, really cheap as well. If you have the extra money, you can make them large bit shots, and thank yourself later. For the last two slots, go with explosives. Frag bombs and dynamite bundles are currently the go-to setup for dealing with hunters, as we can see here. Yeah, up there. Yes, you got them both. Running around the field. Both dead. You got both. Fuck it. Killed people through there several times. Oh shit. Was that you? Yep. Good shit. Fucking die. Got a both. Good shit. But on the other hand, they are pretty expensive and if you're running out of money you might just want to stick with dynamite sticks. They're equally good at flushing people out from behind cover. Just not quite as lethal. So take some throwables and make sure you use them. Throwables probably win a good 30% of my fights. Okay, let's look at the total. We've got the Sparks LRR, the Nagan Officer, the Knife, the Medkit, two weak vitality shots and two dynamite sticks. This is the more budget version of the loadout for $302. It's highly efficient, and if you have the extra cash and you want to make some improvements, I'd add a flare pistol, some choke bombs, switch out the consumables for full vitality shots and frag bombs, 
and this will total at $577, which is really at the upper limit of what I'd consider budget, but if you've got the money around it does make it more powerful. Let's have a look at some of the strengths and weaknesses of this setup with some gameplay. This first clip shows the power of the Sparks as an initiator, and just how efficient the officer can be as a close-up option, even when you miss a few times. He's just standing there. I'll go for res. Thank god I fell down off that thing, they can't actually pop me. I drop one. Yep. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Him. That was messy. I'm glad I'm not streaming. <laughs> <laughs> now let's look at how those explosives can help you out from getting pushed. As even with the officer, close range isn't exactly your strong suit. Left more, left more. Good shit. Here's another quick look at how explosives can be used to deal with difficult targets, followed by the power of the sparks when used to kill targets who have been down previously and thus are not in full health. Shoot the res. There's one tap to your sparks. <laughs> Knife. Or maybe not. He's resin again. How did... What the end of that clip teaches us is even with the Sparks' massive damage, you still need to aim for the chest for best results. That hunter had lost a 25 bar, but the Sparks didn't quite make up the 125 damage that we needed on that hit of the limb. So let's say you get out successfully and then you have a few trade points to spend. This is where we can make the loadout even more efficient. Take Quartermaster, Levering and Deadeye Scopesmith. For a bargain 10 trade points, you can turn this loadout into an absolute powerhouse. Remove the officer and chuck on a Winfield Vandal Deadeye for only $45. It's cheaper and it's far stronger as a secondary because, well, it's basically a primary. It allows you to follow up a Sparks hit at greater range with that range and damage, and it more easily allows you to hit that shot as well because of the scope. It also allows you to dual players at mid-range once you have expended your spark shot without having to reload. And then you have levering, and that can rival the best CQC weapons if you get pushed and aim at center mass. You now have a very versatile loadout for as low as $281. Let's look at just how well this works together in a few quick clips. Yeah, that took off no health. Right, there's two teams. No, 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 there's one to your left still. Yep. Fuck. They're, they're, they're going for boss. You gotta cover that body now. Go for the race. You heard it. <laughs> oh, he's up. Yes! Finally got a kill with that gun, dude. Finally. Yep. There, one's, one's right there. He's coming right to me. There's a body down here. Dead. Nice quick shot. Yep, I'm hit. I see him. Good Dead. shooting. Mountain man over there. Sake. Sometimes, sometimes. There'll be more than one. There'll be more than one. He saved that guy up. Where is he? Oh, yeah. 
Nice, Got him. nice double tap. Is that the green shirt? Sorry. That's the one that killed me. That's one. Got one. I'm pretty sure I'm a bunch of guys around that ping. There, we, there, there, there. Yep, yep, beyond that. Yep. Headshot the, um... Beyond the train car. 45 health. Alright, let's go. Beyond. Hit. Come on, one more hit, one more hit. Yes. Nice work. Good shit, dude. What's this confirm, Zonku? He's dead. And there you have it, the most efficient loadout in Hunt Showdown. If you have any other budget loadouts that you swear by, please let us know in the comments. If you like this video, it will be great if you could consider subscribing for more Hunt Showdown videos, and you can connect with us over Discord or watch our Twitch live streams, which are all linked in the description below. Thank you very much to our Patreon supporters as always, and also all of you guys for coming along and watching to the end. I'll catch you next week. This is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming.